Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. Uh, first of all, before I get into this review, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody for all the wonderful support and uh, emails and stuff they got that I got with regards to leaving Colour Pencil Magazine. Um, unfortunately, I got a little bit ugly toward the end there. It was certainly not the way I expected it or hoped that it would go, but it did. Um, and, but thankfully now it's all over and done with. Uh, I can put that behind me now and just keep moving forward and doing what I do. Um, you know, I knew that a lot of you guys enjoy coming here and watching the channel, watching the videos that I put out and stuff like that. But And I've struck up some fantastic relationships with some uh, amazing people from the channel, uh, which is the, primarily, the primary reason why I started doing this in the first place, because I obviously I can't get out of the house. I'm stuck in here all the time. The, the internet is, is, is my life, really. It's my social life. It's my way of communicating with other people rather than just being able to talk to my dog, talk to my kids and talk to my wife, which I love doing, but you know, you can't live your life just talking to four people. And so, um, so it was important to me, for me to, you know, to start the channel and to be able to do that. And I've done that, but the, like I said, the support that I got from you guys was just unbelievable, absolutely overwhelming. Um, and I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate it. So thank you all so very much. Um, Obviously, now that I'm not there at Colour Pencil Magazine, um, I've sat down, I've done a lot of things, a lot of thinking, uh, a lot of plans moving forward, which I will keep you guys absolutely up to date with once everything is done and sorted and what have you. But I've got so many plans in the pipe work, uh, and I, I just hope that you guys are going to be able to enjoy it along with me. So anyway, as you can see here, I've got a, a, a review here of these pencils called Arteza. Now, I got an awful lot of uh, uh, emails and messages and uh, what have you from people asking me to review these pencils. Now, I have my own kind of like plan, my own layout of the types of pencils I want to review and stuff like that. But if I get an overwhelming uh, request for a certain product, I will do that one first. I'll try and get hold of that pencil if need be. Uh, and, and do that review first and that was the case with Arteza now I did con contact the company because I contact all the companies I don't always get through to all the companies or they don't answer reply whatever the vast majority of them do uh, because I, I, I rather than going around looking at other people's blogs and other people's reviews of the pencils and stuff they get I'd rather just go straight to the source ask them the questions that I want answered and leave it at that uh, that way, if anybody says that I'm wrong or whatever, or uh, disputes what I'm saying about them, then they, I, I can turn around and say, well, you know, I got this from the manufacturer. So, and I just think it's best if you go straight to the source. Um, obviously, Arteza were incredibly helpful, incredibly professional. They sent me these pencils. They sent me a few other things that um, I, I'm so I'm chomping the bit to to do the review on, uh, which I will do, but. For the time being, I wanted to do the pencils first. Um, now, in the grand scheme of things, I think Arteza are a relatively new company. But believe me, they have a, an absolutely extensive range of art supplies uh, over on their website. Now, I will have links to their website down below in the description box and also over on the Art Gear Guide where I'm going to have a full written review of this where you will also be able to find the prices and the set numbers and stuff they got that are available of these pencils over there. I don't normally put that information out on my videos because if that changes, if the company changes their prices or the company changes their sets numbers and stuff like that, then it's hard for me to go back into a video and change that. Whereas over on my blog, it's easy. Um, but anyway, so one of the things about these pencils are that they are very, very cheap. Now, you know... <laughs> I think, I, I, I've got to say, I think with the art world, that saying, you, you, you know, you get what you pay for, it, it's not always the case because these pencils are cheap, but boy, the the quality of these pencils does not reflect their price. you got to understand that. In fact, one of the people that I have been dealing with from the company, like I said, they're incredibly polite, incredibly professional, incredibly helpful. Uh, I've really enjoyed working with this company. Uh, I actually sent them an email and I said, how can you guys make money? You know, you're selling these so cheap, but the quality of the pencils is so high. 
I, I just don't understand how you're, how you're able to make money from this. But anyway, um, let's get into the, the actual review here. So as, as you can see here, this is the 72 set. Now, it is the biggest set that they do at the minute. Um, so as you can see here in the top layer, you've got all your yellows, reds, and pinks. Now, they don't come like this. I kind of like moved them around and color-coded them a little bit. The, 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 when they come, there's no kind of like real rhyme or reason, or I couldn't see one anyway to the way they were laid out. But So I laid them out like this. Uh, then you can see here you've got like your dark blues, indigos, and stuff like that, uh, down to your light blues. They've got a beautiful selection of greens here. Um, really, really nice selection of greens. And some more greens here, some more earth tones, ochres and stuff like that. We've got a nice selection of greys. What I will say is, um, and I think this was a mistake, I'm almost positive it's be just been a, a like a factory oversight thing. As you can see here, um, on this in this set I have two sets of cocoa. Now sorry, I've just knocked that camera again. Now sometimes companies do that, they will have like two colours of Two, sorry two pencils of one color but i can't but it's normally like the white or the black or something like that a, a more prominent color um i just i just think that it's just been a mistake and i'm sure that the color that was supposed to be in there um was of a similar sh you know shade or tone or whatever so um i'm going to show you now the actual pencils themselves and um the markings on them and stuff like that and all the information so as you can see here it's it's a round barrel um when you look at the pencil actually it, it's very reminiscent of like a, a polychromos or something like that but it's a it's a round barrel uh the barrel is eight millimeters and the the core on it is just over four 4.5 millimeters just under 4.5 millimeters um so it's a really really good really nice feel in the hand pencil they sharpen like a dream. They're actually a wax-based pencil, but they lay down like a uh, like an oil-based pencil. Uh, they hold their point incredibly well. Uh, very little um, crumbling, if any. You know, the the odd time the the the, the core would break when it's really super sharp, but that's more to do with my um, pressure that I was putting on the pencil than anything else. Uh, so. You know, very little crumbling, very little bloom. In fact, no bloom, despite the fact that they're, you know, a wax-based pencil. Um, along the side here, they have the company name, Arteza. And then at the end here, they have Expert, because that's kind of like the, the model that these pencils are. They have another set of pencils, which are more aimed at, um, like, a, like, kids and students and stuff like that. This is kind of like the top-of-the-line pencil. Um... Then if we turn it over here, we have uh, the color name printed on here, which is really good. A lot of artists really like that. Uh, there's also a number here which corresponds to the pigment color, but these pencils do not come open stock. Now, I know that two of the most important things for certain artists are light fast rating and open stock availability. And I can understand why, but when you find out the price for 72 pencils, I don't really think you're going to be that worried about you know, open stock availability for these pencils. I know it can be uh, frustrating, um, but it is what it is. Now, also here they have uh, their light fast ratings. Now, um, you can see here it's kind of like a, a, a crosses instead of stars, which is kind of like the norm. But I think they've just gone out and done it a different way. Now, I, I um. I think that the rating is one to three stars. Although there is one pencil in here, as you can see there, it has four. But again, I think that is, um, I think that's maybe been a printing mistake. And and I should have asked Arteza about this, but I didn't. Uh, I completely forgot about it with all the other things I was asking and. So I'm going to go out on the limb and say that I think that was a, a printing mistake because it's the only four-star pencil in the set. Um, all the rest, it's three stars down to two stars. Now, in fact, actually, I have the numbers here. So for one star, they have 12. Um, two star, they have 20. 
uh, three star, they have 39, and the, the, the four star is only one. That's what, what, why I think that it's been a printing mistake, and I think that there's actually 43 stars, 22 stars, and 12 one stars. So on the, on, in the terms of light fast ratings and stuff like that, they, they have really nice light fast ratings. Uh, I think the three star uh, gives you kind of like a, a, a hundred years of guaranteed light fastness, that type of thing. And then it goes down to 50 under the two star and uh, lower than that under the one star. But I will say this, okay, I understand, I fully understand that light fastness is a very, very important aspect of um, art. But I, and I am making a video about this. It will be quite a long video and I'm going to be doing a, a long written blog about this as well. Over the last six months, I've contacted all the different, all the various companies and stuff they got to actually do the light fast testing. And the amount of conflicting information I've received is mind boggling. Which doesn't really bode well for this whole light fast thing. Um, you have some companies have five stars, some companies have three stars, like in the case of Arteza here. But when you go to the website of like the Blue World, there's only really two standards. There's the Blue World one, and then there's the um, oh I forget it now. I, I can't remember it off the top of my head. It's the one that um, the the kind dice pencils use. Um, the blue will is one to eight, and then the other one is uh, one to five stars or one to four stars. But other other ma manufacturers will use like you know three stars or five stars or four stars. Anyway, it's a it's a video that I will be doing very soon, and so stay tuned for that because I think a lot of you will find it interesting. So, given the price of these, um, I was so incredibly impressed with them. And also, one thing that I will say before I show you the performance of the pencils. I have done a little bit of artwork with these as well because I wanted to make sure that people could understood that with cheap pencils, you can still create nice art. Um, obviously, there are certain cheap pencils where you're just not going to be able to do that. Cheap pencils that just don't have any pigment in the, in the barrel whatsoever, uh, which is the reason why I do these reviews. So that hopefully, you guys can... That especially guys that are starting out and are, are starting out just in pencil medium and you want to find something really really good but at a low price i'm hoping that my videos are helping you out in that respect because the last thing you want to do is go and put, put your money out down on a pencil that when you get doesn't work now i tried these pencils on so many different papers because i thought to myself the layering ability of these pencils was fantastic. And I thought, you know, maybe it's the paper. So I tried it on Bristol Vellum, Bristol Smooth. I tried it on Bristol Plate. I tried it on um, Strathmore's Tone Tan, Strathmore's Tone Grey, uh, Windsor Newton's Black Paper. You I tried it on Watercolour Paper, 140 Hot Press, uh, Cold Press. You name it, I tried it on them all. And these pencils just layer and layer and layer. And there was never any tacky bloom or anything like that. So, um, with that being said, let me just move this across. Now, I will be showing you, um, I have obviously got a, a speed drawn as well of uh, the artwork that I've done with these. It's uh, kind of like a bunch of pomegranates. Um, I'll be putting some images up on the screen here as well, so you can just take a look at the artwork. I'll have a link down below to the speed drawing as well, but let me just zoom in here so you can have a little look at what's going on here. So, as always, uh, the top layer is one light layer. Uh, the middle layer is five light layers. I always do five light layers because that's kind of like when you listen to some of the more prominent uh, pencil artists on YouTube, they will always say that you know they'll layer down about five or six maybe four or five layers before they start using uh odorless mineral spirits so i always use that as a decent guideline if the pencil can layer on you know put down about five layers comfortably then it's kind of you know it's a good pencil uh so and then the last one here is just one single heavy application now like I say, I'd done five light layers. I could have keep, I could have kept on layering. And in fact, when I was doing the pomegranates, the layering that I was able to lay down on those was just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And I'd done that on a um, 140 pound hot press uh, uh, watercolor paper. Um, 
So here as well, you can see some dry blending. Now I haven't used um, like any uh, blending pencils for this. I've just used the the pencils themselves. So you can see here, I've used a red and a yellow, and got this lovely orange. Um, uh, I've used a yellow and a blue here, and got this green. And you can just see here. I mean, I don't need to say anything. These colours have blended so well together. I mean, there's some pencils when I've done this, you know, you can vaguely see that it's a green. You can vaguely see that it's an orange, but not, you know, nothing too dramatic. Um, I, I think this is phenomenal. For, I mean, I keep going back to it. These pencils are cheap pencils. And the, the way that these pencils are performing is phenomenal. Again, here I use some odorless mineral spirits, and sometimes when I've done reviews on pencils, they will dry blend, but they won't. Um, they won't. They don't really blend too well with odorless mineral spirits, or vice versa. But again, you can see this is a blue and a yellow, uh, which has got this beautiful kind of like lime green, uh, and this is red and yellow, which has got this gorgeous orange. And it's. Cl I mean. It these, color, these colors are clear. This clearly orange, it's clearly green. Like I said in the past, there's been certain pencils I've done this with, and it's not so clear that it's you know green and orange. You can see, you can still see the blue and the yellow through it and stuff like that. But these have blended so well together. I, I just, you know, I, I guess you can tell how impressed I am with these pencils. I am um, really, really loved using them, and I, I can't say enough good things about them. So um, onto the, the black paper, so you can see here, the, the lighting is showing this up a little bit better than what it is. The lemon here isn't very opaque. Um, I'll try and get that. It's, it's actually coming up better on the camera than what it is, kind of like, you know, visually in real life. But the blue here is a really nice opaque blue, uh, as with the red, the rose red. And the lime as well is a really nice opaque lime. Uh, but look at this white. I mean, like, this white is phenomenal. Really, really nice. Um, it's it, it just... I, I don't know. I don't know what these guys are doing uh, to be able to create such a nice pencil, such a really well-balanced pencil in terms of uh, its blending ability, its layering ability, its blending with odorless mineral spirits, that type of thing, and still sell these pencils so cheap. I just don't understand it. So, anyway, um, let me just zoom back out here. So, that's my review here of the Arteza uh, color pencils. Now, like I say, I have... Uh, a full written review of the, the pencils over on the Art Gear Guide, where I have a list of the pricing and I have a list of the sets that are available. I'll also have links to the the actual pencils where you can go and purchase them yourself from the website or from Amazon, whatever you want to do. Um, but I would highly recommend these pens. Highly recommend these pencils for people that are just starting out in the medium, maybe, and um, you know. They're not too sure whether they want to get into color pencils. They don't want to spend a lot of money, but they want to get a decent pencil that's going to be able to provide good artwork. It's going to give them a good foundation of what the medium is really like. Um, I, I would definitely, without doubt, hi, um, highly recommend these pencils for people in that um, in that group. But even at that, um, people that are established with color pencils, colorists, um, people that are using adult coloring books and stuff like that. These pencils are fantastic for that. Uh, I use these. I have a, a Derwent coloring book and I also have uh, another uh, coloring book. I always get the lady's name wrong. I, I'm useless at names. But um, she's a very well-known um, author of these coloring books. Um, I'll have an image up of the book here on the screen. But I used it on both those and these these colors are so bright and vibrant uh and they if if i had to really pick one criticism if, and if i had to you know have my arm twisted and really pick a criticism it might be that the colors that are in here are gorgeous they're really bright and vibrant but there's not very many um like really pale colors um i know sometimes uh 
when you're doing blending and stuff like that or you're doing gradient work you know you want to start off with a really really pale light pencil color and i know you can you can do that with um a light hand to a certain extent but when you've got pencils that are loaded with pigment as these are these pencils have got beautiful pigment in them uh, it, it can be difficult to achieve that really really super light blue that you want or that light red pink or whatever it is that you're you're trying to achieve so if i had to if i had to call out one criticism it would be that and i'm telling you that would be a criticism that i would have to be really pushed to to make because i've just loved using these pencils and that's the top and bottom line of it anyway guys that's it for this review thank you so much for watching this review don't forget you can go across to the art gear guide i'll have this uh full written review over there also i will have a link down to the speed drawing that i've done with these pencils uh and um some still images as well if you want to go across and have a look at the still images also if you want to follow me on facebook and twitter and instagram you can do so um that's probably the best way to keep up to date with what's going on within the channel that type of thing new things that i'm coming out with uh i always put them out on twitter and facebook and uh any artwork that i do i put out on instagram i put some artwork out on instagram that i don't necessarily put out on my channel here or over on facebook so if you follow me there you'll probably get to see some uh quirky bits of artwork that i'm trying to do uh and that's really about it so thank you so much for joining me and i look forward to seeing you all again the next time and before i go if you've got any questions about these pencils or you want to leave some comment down below about your experience with these pencils please do so that's what these videos are all about Just getting the, a debate going uh bringing everybody's opinions in on the pencils and stuff like that and seeing what everybody else thinks about them as well that's what it's all about it's about artists coming together sharing their experiences with the product and um helping other people really understand the product better before they go out and spend their money on it okay guys look forward to seeing you again next time bye